All right, Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praise, glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachat Wadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect, Shalom, Barakatam. And uh, the title of this lesson is going to be uh, Esau is Big Mad <laughs> uh, or Stay Mad, something along those lines. And uh, or maybe some along the lines of, you know, these people are basically desperate, you know. And the inspiration for that is a one comment that was left on a big shoot channel that I have. Um, that uh, <laughs> then Edom might left a comment, you know, just hurt, but that's really just a small you know microcosm is i guess is the best word for it of what's really going on on a larger scale like the, the the man that saw himself better than you that saw himself as superior than you has basically lost everything man of his of his own doing his own people did this by the way jake is still at the bottom our people are still at the bottom and all these people so-called white people edomites all they have left is basically anger and desperation, man. So this is basically a warning for for the sheep, you know? This is why we tell you to be, you know, circumspect around you. A lot of people will recognize you from videos and we're going into the times where they're gonna, they're gonna literally not have anything left and they're gonna have to lash out on somebody because ultimately what's at the center of all of this is, is fear, man, <laughs> all right? Now, once, one second let me get this real quick um this is a, a image here <laughs> all right that i had uh the elder posted this in a, in a group chat <laughs> if i can show it here you can see this all right <laughs> now that's the uh that's the jake that basically leaped over the uh, <laughs> over the judge bench and 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 you know and assaulted her. All right. Now, look at how much security they got on this guy. This guy's got a, a, a mask on. He's got he's got on mitts and he's <laughs> and he's chained, cuffed, and he's got several officers around him, man. Because Esau really is a is a weak individual deep down, despite all of the weaponry, all of the. Uh, the firepower that he has when it comes down to the to the bare necessities of it he he's inferior man you know and there's just no other way to put it when they when you read about how he took down gad especially when he got to the lakota tribes and he got uh to the uh i forget the name of the other tribes uh the comanches the comanches and the lakota tribe they couldn't beat them they just couldn't beat them Gad was too quick on those horses. The arrows were more effective than those bullets. They didn't know the they didn't know the terrain. They were getting fucked up. So what did they ended up doing? They ended up waiting till Gad wasn't there, and they took the women. All right, they uh, they burned their food sources. All right, this is why they killed 80 million buffalo. And and when they started systematically doing that over a period of time, that's how they ended up taking them down. You know and. <laughs> That's how that guy fights, you know? So we can't be angry or upset because he really hasn't changed in all of these years, man. And you can see when you read the story of Nat Turner, you can see the fear that was in these people when that happened, all right? And that same spirit is getting ready to return. But that's why this Jake jumped over the, uh, <laughs> over the counter in, in the courtroom, man, because that spirit is returning back into the earth. Now as men of the Lord, we don't engage in any of that, but we do prophesy, we do speak on it, you know, you know, so that, that's how, that's how we, uh, that's how we see it, you know, this is Job chapter six, verse 26, it says, do ye imagine to reprove words and the speeches of one that is desperate, which are as wind, all right? So, Salakia, let me go. Let me go up a little bit. Let me see here. Oh, 
that's why I brought that out. Let me show y'all this real quick. <laughs> so lock you a little all over the place today. <laughs> all right. So this is a, uh, <laughs> a comment here. Uh, it's, it's backwards. So I'll, I'll just read it. It says, why are you speaking the white man's language? Recording on the white man's phone, driving white man's cars in white man's lands. Why don't you go back to the jungle beastly subhuman monkey? <laughs> and then he wrote homo, homo erectus slave. So this is a man that has nothing else left. All right. He's, he's on the comments, you know, he can't be employed or, or, or have a woman or anything uh, that, that offers him some kind of value in life. So this is the outlet, man. All right. This is a, these, these this guy is typical of, of the common everyday Edomite. And he sees Apostle Hard did the lesson. He says, when your woman starts to go with the enemy, that's how you know you're through, man. Because even the white women are now preferring uh, so-called Negroes, man. You know, and the Northern Kingdom, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, because that we we've always had the sauce, but now, now that this socioeconomic uh, uh, stratification that you've had, it used to just be if you were white, you were in the upper class pretty much, but now, by their own people, they've erased all of that, and so now that these all of these Edomites are down where we are, now you're starting to see, oh well, wait a minute, you know. When you equal things out, people people prefer what's better, which is which are the Israelites, man. All right. And so when you get down to that, you, you you're gonna uh, you're gonna see things like that, man. But that's why I brought up that Job. It says, "Do ye imagine to reprove words and speeches of one that is desperate, which are as wind?" And the NLT it says, "Do you think your words are convincing when you disregard <laughs> uh, uh, my cry of desperation?" All right. And that's basically what that was, you know. It, it was a, it was a cry of desperation. The words fall flat because we know you people have nothing left, man. You know, we don't have any stock in this world, in this society. You can make a million dollars in this society. It doesn't bother me because I already know what's going to come along with that, man. When you when you get paid in this society, what you get with uh, with all of that money is you get a lot of comfort, and comfort feels good on the front end, but it doesn't feel good in the times of adversity. All right, that's that's when you're gonna run into problems, <laughs> okay? And uh, let me go to the, this other precept. We bring this out all the time because this is the this is the times we're getting ready to go into. All right, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time all right and so what's going to happen is these military class individuals all right they're going to pick up arms esau is going to send those armies all right and it's going to be all chaos breaking loose man because there's not going to be any other recourse and so when you you see again on the microcosm how how snappy and and on edge these people are that's how esau is on a large scale man all right once he sees this kingdom uh uh it, it is no longer within his control which it which it, it isn't really right now well to some degree it is but once it's crystal clear and apparent that he's lost control of it he's gonna lose it okay and so we have to make sure we're girded up through the scriptures man all right because the scriptures say wisdom and knowledge are going to be the stability of our time. We're not going to need guns or weapons. If you own those, that's cool, you know. But we're not going to need those things, man. You know, the thing that we need is is the Most High. All right. That's that's what we that's what we really and truly need, man. All right. Let me see. Precept I was going to try to find real quick. I won't make this too too long. I've been going. Almost nine, ten minutes. Let's see here. Um, for 
forgive me. Okay. Second measure is 15 and 14. All right, and this is really another precept that backs up Revelation 12, all right? Um, because the scriptures say this thing is gonna happen quickly, it's gonna happen rapidly, man. Remember that movie, um, uh, Leave the World Behind. They were, they one minute they were on vacation, boom, the next minute they couldn't go back home. Just like that, you know? Then what you gonna do? All right, a lot of people own all of these guns and weapons and, and you, you, but they're at home. What, what, what are you going to do when, when the roads get closed down and you literally can't get back home? You see? Then what do you have? This is uh, Second Judges 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hand. For there shall be sedition among men. And see, this is that little comment that was made. That sedition really has already started. Notice how divided everybody is. People are divided on the thing you take in your arm. People are divided on politics. People are divided by race. People are divided by gender. Okay? People are divided on all fronts. And what Esau has done through social media is just pump the tension up, man. Pumping up tension. You know? It's like a big balloon of hot air, and that thing is going to burst. All right? Then all of these people who you thought so-called white people, they changed their... Uh, they changed or turned over a new leaf, you're gonna find out they haven't, okay? Because when this tension boils up and then it bursts, everybody's gonna, it's gonna be every man for himself, then you're gonna see their biology take over. They're gonna get carnal. They're gonna remember their old ways, man, that old serpent, okay? So it, it doesn't matter how long you've been friends or if you're coworkers or if you might, you might, it might be a, a person that you're, uh, 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 you're dating, okay? They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna uh, preserve their own skin over anything else, man. This is why we don't attach ourselves too closely to things, including women, man. Especially women, really. For me, myself personally, I'm not, I'm not gonna be overly attached to a woman here, man. For what? You, you don't know what that woman's gonna do, okay? And stop pillow talking with, with, with women, man. All right. For you know, she has all kind of secrets on you. Read the story of, uh, of Delilah. And Samson, man. All right. All right. They're not going to have the integrity to withstand uh, uh, a gun in their face or starvation. They're not. Okay. What you have is you and your Hawabashi and your shy, man. That's what you got, man. So, um, anyway, <laughs> that sedition has already started. All right. People are already split. Okay. All it, basically what you call a powder keg. All they really need is that, 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 uh, that false flag event pop these things off man it says for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power man all right and when you get these pure niggas like in these hoods like chicago or areas or new york you know compton wait till them <laughs> wait till them gremlins get loose man wait till them pure that pure nigga energy unfiltered unadulterated nigga energy gets out there man Okay, they gonna they gonna kill a hella Edomites. Okay, and hella Edomites are gonna kill hella niggas, man. And that that's a good thing because the Lord wants this division, man. You know we we're we're above all of this, man. We we are putting in the work right now so we can be um, exempt from all of that, man. All right, so we're not concerned about it. You know, but these people should be. And deep down, they can feel it, man. They can feel it. That's why they're hurt. That's why they're angry. You know. That that's why the the <laughs> they're they're uh you see the image of, the, of that Jake in the courtroom. They they know, man. Like that like Jake has not forgotten what has happened four hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, a hundred years ago. It's in our spirit, man. Okay, even if they are a nigger, you know. There, there is no, there is no uh, healing of Babylon. It says Babylon cannot be healed. All right, you're not gonna come together. All right, you're not gonna have a coalition, a multiracial cult coalition of, of nothing, man. It ain't happening. Okay, there's been too much damage. 
okay? It says, and men shall have no pity on his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation, man. All right, so that is the time of Jacob's trouble, which we're coming into, man. So, you know, be on guard with these things, man, you know? And, and pray to the Lord that your sacrifice is accepted so he can remember you in the day of calamity. All right, so with that, giving all praise, glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rahab, Kudash, Shalom, Kom Yashrallah.